hello my apologies you know my, my uh, phone won't let, let me get uh 31 minutes but once again this is Esther Tally consultant services I'm an addiction counselor this is Esther Tally hypothesis the other side of Iran country for if the Jamaicans have Uzis then they got them from Iran this is Saturday February 16 2019 this is part 3c part 4 now, I was on Santos Traficante Jr., who died in Houston, Texas. He really went from Tampa, Florida to Houston to have uh, surgery. Uh, it is uh, reported that um, it is reported that um, you know, uh, it is reported that um, he um, died two days later uh, in the hospital. Now, uh, let me continue. Now, uh, as I mentioned, when he was in Cuba, you know, connected to the Italian Mafia, uh, you know, connect, connected to the Americans, and, and uh, thank President, uh, Cuban President uh, Baptista, uh, you know, most definitely who had a positive relationship with America when America uh, was pretty much running all the businesses there, you know. Uh, after World War II, the Germans... Nazis pretty much migrated to, I mean, immigrated to to Cuba, to South America, and most definitely uh, North America. Now, prior to uh, World War II, uh, the Germans was pushing cocaine on, on French. You know, the Canadians, uh, you know, uh, love uh, co cocaine. The British love cocaine. So, uh, so, uh, you know, so the Germans are pushing cocaine. You know, the, the Germans uh, created cocaine. The Germans created uh, morphine. Uh, they created amphetamines. Uh, no, uh, you know, you look at the KKK, as I mentioned before, you know, they're anti-foreigner. So, so when they say anti-foreigner, they really was referring to the Germans and Irish, you know. Uh, so the Germans and the Irish are pretty much why we had prohibition uh because uh you know all you no know, bush coolers uh they uh you know the germans uh brought that to america you know they wanted to keep drinking and the irish most definitely uh are drinking i don't know if that was like a rebellion uh to the english or what we call now the uh americans uh so you know uh, so you know, you born, you know, some whites classify most definitely with born being born in America. And once again, you got to be very mature. And this is coming from the African perspective. Uh, you know, if you are, are a therapist, psychologist, or whatever, um, and even if you're not, you know, you have to be uh, very mature. Okay. Uh, so, no. Uh, so during the fifties, in Cuba, Santos gets some cocaine. So who does he get the cocaine from? You know, did the Italian mafia give him the cocaine, uh, et cetera? So uh, let's look at the CIA director under President Ronald Reagan, William Casey, who was Irish and from New York. Also was tied to Burry Seal and the President Bush through an airplane company. And we're going to repeat some things, but I just want to go over this, uh, you know. And then once again, as I mentioned, it's time to get into some other... President H. W. Bush was the president of the United States. Now, I mentioned in this report that his son was uh, George W. Bush was the governor of Texas, but not at the same time as George H. W. Bush was president. And then eventually, his son uh, Jeb Bush was president of Florida. You know, that's that's a lot of power. You know, uh, you know that's that's a lot of power. No offense. Uh, you know, once again to the Bushes. You know. Uh, so, you now we haven't made it to Obama and Michelle Obama yet, okay? So, you know, what am I going to really look at? Did, did, did Mr. Obama take on, uh, his, more of his Irish heritage? Or did, you know, he, you know, he had that Nigerian connection, you know? Uh, you know, uh, one thing I can look at, I think we had less terrorism. Less terrorism. I felt a little bit more safer when he was... The president but 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 as his you know his policies and things in that nature uh you know we'll discuss that later as it relates to the other side of the iran contra firm 
Now we have been uh, report. You know, we 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 got this uh, Gotti girls. You know, the lifestyle of professional booster, etc. You know, should we be reporting Bush girls? You know, you know, there's a Texas to Louisiana route. Uh, should we be reporting letting her John girls? You know, uh, you know, we got that Irish connection or whatever. You know, uh, once again, we got that African Jamaican connections. You know, the Jamaicans hiring blacks, and uh, you know, uh, you know, to run drug routes for them, etc. Of course, the FBI and the DA probably already know this stuff, so I'm not reporting anything that the DEA and the FBI is in the world of. Uh, might not be a world of, or the CIA for that matter. Um, so you know, you know, we got routes. It's already it's already known that we have routes uh, from uh, from Texas. You know this is a Norco state, uh, so you know this is this is a Norco state. Uh, so you know when you have clients, you know on your caseload, they come in into your office. You know they you know they play dumb, play like they're on welfare. You know uh, you know this you know this is a Norco state. Okay, so. Uh, so we got President Reagan mentioned Germany a lot in his speech. Uh, once again, did he find out that crack epidemic was started by the Germans? George Young, who went to college in Mississippi, met a German Columbia in prison. Carlos led her and drop, had drop-off spots in uh, Topeka, Kansas. And once again, Topeka, Kansas is right next door to Kansas City, Missouri. All right. It's like going from El Paso to Mexico. No, that border right there. What they call it, uh, Juarez or Juarez. They say most drugs in America come through that little spot right there in El Paso. Okay. So, uh, let me continue. A highly populated German state and city where the Jamaican posse started the crack epidemic. If you look at the states where the crack epidemic is really uh, there, you got Dallas, Texas. You got Houston, Texas. Uh, you know, Germans are heavily populated in California. Uh, you got Los Angeles. You know, whether it's started by Freeway Ricky Ross or not. Now, Snow Falls, they say he uh, looks like he hooked up uh, with a Jamaican and they're talking about Peru or whatever. That might be true. Maybe the Germans found out about it. Okay, so then you, uh, you know, uh, they say the posses come from New York. Once again, where are the Africans at in New York? You know, did, the, the, did the Dominican Republicans really, uh, you know, started in New York? And maybe the Germans or, or, uh, or Jamaicans found out, etc. Now, this is just a hypothesis. What I'm going over, uh, you know, with this... Uh, you no, know, so I tell the hypothesis, the other side of the Iran country for all of this this is about the Iran country for about cocaine and crack in America. All right. Um and uh once again in Uzi's in Dallas, Texas. Okay, uh so um I'm not, I'm gonna skip this part about Lamar Hunt. Uh once again his uh very sick wife reported that her husband was at DFFW airport as a getaway person that assassin for the that assassinated President John F. Kennedy. So once again, so did the mafia KKK, once the largest in Dallas, Texas, Germans, and the largest ethnicity in America, etc. Uh assassinate uh President Kennedy. Now President Reagan and Bush went uh heavy after the Italians. John Gotti was convicted. President H. W. Bush was president. The president, the Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar, was assassinated in December of 1993, right before George H. W. Bush left office. And uh, New Orleans Italian mafia boss Carlos Marcello died in March of 1993, right after President George H. W. Bush left office. You know, so was George Bush going after after the uh, competition? All right, so so. I'm not saying that he, President George Bush, is KKK, but let's say if he was, you know, uh, you know he's American, he's English. Uh, if KKK is anti-foreign, then that means they're anti-Italian. Okay, we've already talked about the possible connections and 
uh, who might, uh, you know, be connected to each other as far as Italian Mafia, uh, you know, Aryan Brotherhood of Texas. Uh, you know, I really haven't got it. I got into a little bit about the, uh, you know, I, I mentioned uh, uh, Bloods and Crips. I'm mentioning Bloods and Crips because this is T Dallas, Texas. We have a lot of Bloods and Crips in uh, Dallas, Texas. Um, you know, we are gang affiliated. Uh, you know, so, you know, most definitely I'm getting a lot of stress uh from uh, you know i'm getting i'm getting a lot of stress you got a lot of groups out here you know so i'm coming from my perspective okay so we uh let me continue to go so carlos marcello died in march 1993 after president george hw bush left office now, i mentioned previously that we bring the money bag back to dallas texas so we bringing the money bag back for the KKK, or are we bringing the money back back for them, for the Italian Mafia? You know, how, how, has the change of, of the command changed? Now, D Magazine says that we are a transshipment city. Dallas, Texas, that we are a transshipment city for the Chicago and New York Mafia. Okay? We're a transshipment city. So, the, the drugs come to us, and we take it to the different locations. Once again, these two Hispanic chicks got caught with $51 million worth of heroin headed to North Texas. And then we push it out. You know, we push it out. So we are a different type of city. You know, we, uh, you know, as far as, uh, you know, drugs, you know, there's a lot of money in this state. Okay. So, you know, I made, I mentioned also, so is, is the new KKK more about selling drugs or or uh racism you know so that's what i'm looking at okay so we uh you know we in the beginning i was wondering you know do the kkk sell drugs we knew the germans or the nazis most definitely because it said it in the uh documentary i think it's american nazis uh that, that, that the new movement since the 1970s do sell drugs. What I didn't have is a fact to report on whether or not uh, if uh, the KKK uh, sold drugs. But the Connect, you know, Barry Seal is, is the KKK uh, that, uh, you know, if your father is KKK, he's going to, it's going to have an influence on you. Okay, it's going to have influence. Influence. Now we don't always agree uh, with our parents or our family heritage. Once again, as we go through our stages of identity, you know, we go through our stages of, of identity. Now, uh, let me continue on. Um, I was thinking the Americans had a strong German history. I see the president uh, W. Bush at a lot of Dallas Cowboys games. Being that Dallas, Texas once had the largest KKK membership uh, in America, the German population, once again, might not be as strong in Dallas, Texas. When I, when I look at the, uh, the map of Texas, uh, Germans were uh, either more up south or north, I, I forgot, uh, but it wasn't the heaviest population in uh, Dallas. Uh, put it that way. It was in a, a different part of Texas. I don't know if it was closer to Houston or if it was West Texas or whatever, but this is North Texas. Uh, so uh, it's, it's more uh, South to West uh, Texas. Uh, they had a the strong uh, German uh, ethnicity, ethnicity on the map. Okay, so let me continue on. Once again, right now it's just a little bit of perception. Okay, being a dollar. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Ber being a dollar says once had the largest KK membership on American German population is not as strong in Dallas, Texas or other parts of Texas. It's rumored that Barry Seal dropped off dope in Louisiana and Arkansas, and the Italian Mafia started in New Orleans. According to D Magazine, New Orleans Italian Mafia Carlos Mercello was in charge of the Dallas. Fresh and Italian Mafia, and came to Dallas, Texas. You know, he came to Dallas, Texas to eat uh, lunch 
in the eastern part of Dallas, Texas, you know, in the east part of Dallas, Texas, you know. Is that near the East Dallas Projects? You know, is that place, is he talking about Pleasant Grove? Is he talking about over there by uh, Old East Dallas? You know, etc. Over there by San Jacinto Street, you know. So, let me continue on. All right, so, Carlos Marcelo had ties to Cuba and Cubans. Santos Trafficante Jr. and Lee Horror Oswald, who assassinated President John F. Kennedy. Uncle was Carlos Marcelo Bookmaker. Jack Ruby, or Jack Rubenstein, who has Jewish and Polish ancestry, had previous issues with the German American Bond or American Nazi Party. You know, as I mentioned previously, you know, uh, you know, Hitler was already in office. I mean, you know, was in charge of the Nazi Party uh, before World War II. You know, um, you know, I think in World War One we had some conflicts with Germany, and the Germans that were in America, you know, got treated badly. So you know, that's sort of how like the German uh, American Bund or American Nazi Party uh, started. They was even. Uh, you know, I think they had like a location in Los Angeles, California, the Germans, they was preparing, uh, for Hitler to take over, uh, America, you know, they was preparing for Hitler, uh, to take over America. So, uh, you know, they was really preparing for it to really get bad in America. I think they had everything they needed, uh, food, uh, 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 water, uh, you know, they were preparing for different weather or whatever. So, uh, if anything had happened or whatever. So, where was I at? Now, Jack Rubenstein, once again, was already fighting uh, the German-American bond. You know, it's like you see a blood, a crib see a blood, and they they fight each other. That's, that was... That was what was going on in Chicago. Then he moved to Dallas, Texas. Um, so, um, so, so is Jack Ruby really, is it, is it the KKK or is it the, um, or, um, you know, is it, is it the Italian mafia? But Jack Ruby supposedly supposed to be connected to the Italian mafia. Uh, so, um, so there's many myths and rumors, etc. Uh, you know, was it uh, once again was Jack Ruby connected to the Germans? Was it KKK or was it the Italian Mafia? Okay, so uh, regardless of any of these groups, were okay. Hold on, let me go back up. Uh, it's reported that the Ger German American Bond started by the German veterans in Texas at one point did not get along with the Texas fraction of the KKK started by Confederate veterans. Now, we have heard of Jamaicans coming from Dallas, Texas, going to New Orleans and getting murdered. Uh, so was President George H.W. Bush American-made, you, know? uh, you know. He's in Houston, Texas, you know. You know, he was posted up in Houston, Texas. You know, he had a ranch in Crawford, Texas. That ranch, you know. Uh, you know, that ranch, you know. So he got a big ranch or whatever. So, you know, he... Uh, I'm not saying, but once again, uh, I'm not saying that he was in drug sales. I'm just, you know, going over uh, the, the perspectives of other writers, you know. You know, uh, so is East Dallas, you know, is they uh, Bush girls or are they uh, Gotti girls, you know. Is Oak Cliff, you know, I mean, or is East Dallas German girls. Is Oak Cliff Gotti girls, you know. You know, you had Cubans in, 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 uh, living in the Oak Cliff area uh, with whites. You know, Oak Cliff used to be predominantly white uh, before it became, uh, you know, African-American, uh, a, a majority African-American Hispanic community. You know, so you, you have the Cubans uh, living in the Oak Cliff area. You know, Lee Harvey Oswald is in the Oak Cliff area. His daddy is a bookmaker for the, uh, I mean, his uncle was a bookmaker for the uh, New Orleans Italian Mafia, Carlos Marcello. So is cocaine 
you know, coming into Oak Cliff via, uh, you know, the Italians, Germans, Irish, etc. You know, so if, if the New York, put it this way, if the Italians are selling cocaine in Texas and New Orleans, then New York is in, in, in New York is in charge of all the the uh, different fractions. Then uh, that's why well, one way you would call it uh, Gotti boys or Gotti girls, because you're narco for the Italian mafia. Now we know in California the Italian mafia, uh, and that could have started the trend because those, you know the gangs in in California most definitely was a lot of murders because the Italian mafia. In the 1930s, you know, was off the chain. You know, they they killing over 30 people. You know, they, 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 the Italian boss that started there had about 30 murder, murders by himself. So, uh, you know, that that can that type of behavior can can carry on. And then you know you had the zoo suits, which really started by an Italian man and was picked up by uh, you know the the Hispanic culture in uh california you know they had the fights with the sailors and things so uh you know that's you know uh that's all going hand in hand you know so you know so you know everybody's wearing the zoo suits the, you know the, the the young i guess like i said the gang culture but the uh i'm gonna call it the uh maybe the side of generation the baby boomers culture you know they were in the zoo suits the africans and uh, Hispanics, you know, they say, well, you know, the black men were well dressed back in the day. Well, they were wearing zoo suits, so that's that was just, you know, just like us wearing uh, uh, Versace and Gucci today, or, or, or uh, you know, or we wearing polo shirts with polo boots, wearing Jordans and things of that nature. It, it's just a trend. It was a, just a style, and you know, in a, a personality or whatever. Okay, let me move forward because uh, we got a little bit more and it ain't that much. Uh, so, once again, this stuff has been re repeated. Uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, rather, uh, you know, Mexico started selling cocaine in the 1980s. You know, it, it's a conflict because Texas Syndicate is selling cocaine in the 1970s. All right? So, you know, uh, you know... So there, there's some conflict there. You know, Mexico started out with, with Norcos. I mean, selling, uh, you know, started out with the Chinese triad in the 1930s. Uh, you know, bringing heroin and morphine to the Italian mafia in Dallas, Texas. Uh, and, you know, and bootlegging. You know, a lot of bootleg that the Italians had, especially in t Texas, really came from Mexico. So, uh once again, I'm just solving my hypothesis. You know, as I mentioned previously, you know, in the 1960s, African American countries, Africa, the African countries are gaining their independence and they're immigrating to America. Uh, you know, they're learning to, they're learning American culture. You know, a lot of immigrants are coming to to America. You know, Eddie Murphy movie Coming to America is a good example of uh you know especially of an african man uh coming to america not understanding the culture not knowing how to uh co cohabitate with with assimilated uh blacks you know uh, uh as we call it, we're african americans you know they're not knowing how to assimilate with uh blacks in america so there's there's you no know, there's a clash uh you know as i mentioned on vlad tv uh, Free Ray Ricky Ross mentioned that uh, Mexico started selling cocaine because the Colombians were afraid of uh, of blacks. You know, and Free Ray Ricky Ross did mention that he was from Texas. I mean, and that he stayed briefly in Texas, and that his father is from Texas, but he really didn't have a relationship uh, with his father. And I supposedly still. He still uh, supposedly might have relatives in Texas, but he might just not be, uh, you know, might not have a relationship with them, okay? Uh, but maybe his uncle did, you know, the movie Snowfalls. Maybe his uncle had the relationship. So you never know. You know, supposing his uncle was helping him get rid of the cocaine, so maybe his uncle 
had the connection to Texas. So, uh, but we'll talk about it that at a later date. It's really time for somebody else to share their perspective. You know, you know, it's really time for somebody else to share their perspective. So, you now hopefully, um, I'm thinking about interviewing somebody that uh, that was actually sold crack cocaine in uh, the mid 1980s or later, and they can share their perspective. But uh, y'all have a, a great rest of the uh, 2019. Hopefully, excuse me, we all can level up and uh, pros prosper, and you know, and uh, you know, gap it down or whatever, gap that money down. Uh, uh, y'all have a great day.